we have found this existing sheet metal part. It's available from one of our vendors as surplus from a discontinued product. And with a bit of rework, we can repurpose it for the enclosure that we need. So by developing a simple tooling operation, we'll see a huge engineering cost savings. To do this, three holes need to be drilled. Here, here, and here. Drilling the holes will require a jig that holds the part and guides the drill bit. And to start with, a base plate will act as the foundation. Indexing pins are placed according to the part datums and are used for positioning. They also serve as risers to attach the plates that house the drill guide bushings. The part is precisely located and toggle clamps are used as hold downs. If we take a closer look and begin to think about applying the forces of the drill, a couple of questions arise. Will the part deflect or will it be pushed out of alignment? It's clear more support is in order. Extra screw clamps would provide the hold down needed. But with more setup time combined with the possibility of more deflection, that idea was scratched in favor of a more uncompromising solution of internal support. The flanges you see here on the part are obstacles to getting inside to put any kind of backing, like a simple block like structure. So the challenge becomes, how can you get something in there that enters in a collapsed state and deploys to expand against the inside walls of the part? Here are these specially shaped pieces acting together. By rotating upon a common axis, they're able to expand for support and collapse for removal. By taking a look at a couple of section views, you can see that we have good contact inside. and really have accomplished what we needed to. Back on the tooling bench, we make use of a plunger toggle to put together a mechanism that moves the supports in and out to lock them in place for drilling. and release for part removal. Here comes the part into the tool and it's ready for its final drilling operation. Clamp it down, lock in the supports, and it's ready to go.